Hello everyone. Today I'll show plugin for making worm gears. It should be available in Autodesk App Store in two weeks. Please remember to choose appropriate version of operating system in the store. Selected version is indicated by blue button on URL. There are also sections with more detailed information in case you need to contact me or want to read more about this thing. For those of you who have problems with versions for macOS, please read the article available here. The link will be also available in the section Known Issues in the product site. If you like the content, please thumbs up and subscribe. When you install the plugin, you should see the icon on the main toolbar in the Design section. If icon is missing, you can pin it from the bottom of Create dropdown. Of course, you can just click it in the dropdown if you don't want the icon on the toolbar. Those of you who bought my previous plugins will notice that the UI is slightly changed. Section of parameters has been moved to the top to imitate menu, but it's not most important. The important parts are estimated time of execution shown in the bottom, ability to cancel of the process, generation of tooth shape uses new algorithm. It takes more time but provides very accurate results, especially for undercuts. Estimated time is rounded to first 10 seconds. When you show the window for the first time, there will be information that cannot estimate, no statistics yet. For calculating this, plugin must read files, last 20, which contain statistics for most time-consuming parts of operations. For first installed and run plugin, there's of course no files, so no estimation can be calculated. In my case, I have some files now, so estimation is displayed. Second thing is the cancellation. Now you'll be able to stop the process without waiting for finish. The same changes, functionality fixes and performance improvements will be gradually introduced into new versions of the previous apps and planned plugins, so stay tuned. Ok, let's back to the plugin. In many sections you have three buttons for save, load and reset parameters. Parameters are safe as JSON files. For those of you who don't know, program try to read last used parameters at start. That file is written right after clicking OK button. So if you forgot to save parameters manually, they would be read on the next run. Next section presents common parameters. Module from 0.5 to 20 mm, pressure angle from 15 to 30 degrees, clearance factor from 0.1 to 0.2. Clearance equals factor multiply module. Below is the section for worm, which is currently only as an Archimedean screw option. Section contains type of tooth view, normal or axial, number of threads, from 1 to maximum 6, pitch diameter in millimeters, displaying of Q-factor, which equals pitch diameter of worm divided by module, direction of teeth, right-left, length of worm in millimeters. Penultimate section is about worm gear or wheel. Number of teeth, at least 10, backlash in millimeters, factor of profile shift coefficient, thickness in millimeters, Factor of hop cutter pitch diameter compared to worm pitch diameter from 1 to 1.1. It is used for crowning. Displaying pitch diameter of hop cutter. Type of finishing edges, flat or non, chamfer, fillet, wrap angle. In case of chamfer on fillet you can see length of side or radius. In the case of wrap angle you can set the angle but remember that provided value will be divided per side and the last field displays maximum value for above parameters. In the last section, you'll be informed when some value should be changed, and you can see estimated time based on the run history and currently given teeth number. That's all, let's try this. Example 1. Axial view without profile shifting. In the first example, we'll check the mesh without profile shifting and croning. Let's set the parameters as follows. Module 4 mm, Pressure angle 25 degrees, clearance remains the same, axial tube view, two threads, pitch diameter as 48 mm, length 130 mm, 40 teeth number, 100 mm of backlash, thickness of 40 mm, and let's say we want the 5 mm fillets. But first, we'll test the cancellation. Ok. 
We don't need to load parameters manually. Last run settings have been loaded automatically. At first sight it looks ok, but it's not enough. Let's check an interference analyze to show amount of overlapped space. Ok, it tells more, but now we want to check contact surfaces during movement. First part is to set revolute joints, both for warm and gear. Now we have to create a motion link between the two elements. When the worm is created, rotation factor of worm gear is automatically calculated, so the only thing is to copy it from the worm's properties and put into the worm gear's rotation expression. In this case, I also have to reverse the worm's gear's rotation. Second part is to create some intersections to see this in action. First section will be on YZ plane. In this case, movement can be considered as a regular rack and a spur gear. But warm gear stiff aren't symmetric along the wall flank, so let's check two other points of view. For do this the worm's axis will be useful. First section will cut the wall set in, for example, 20 and the second in 40 degrees.
All of those steps aren't necessary, but it's minimum if you plan to print those things or mill. Of course, this is only a mathematical approximation and every material needs another requirements, but performing those operations should show which parameters should be changed and what should focus your attention during design. But assume that mesh is generally ok. Generally. Without profile shifting, the top land width, crest width, can be too narrow or even sharpened. There's also another problem. Without croning, the contact surface between the worm and gear is the biggest, but assembling of such set can be difficult. Let's change mentioned parameters and compare results. Example 2. Profile shifting on bigger radius of hop cutter. Positive profile shifting will make the situation even worse, so application provides only negative values, down to the minus 0.2. Changing the radius of cutter speech diameter compared to the worm speech diameter can be chosen from the range 1 to 1.1. Cutter speech diameter is displayed below. Let's increment this factor to 1.0.5. Wider teeth are seen immediately, but I want to check the impact of profile shifting and wider cutter on the contact conditions. Middle section looks good. Try to others.
Unfortunately, we can notice that enlarging cutter significantly reduces the surface of contact, which theoretically appears only in the narrow range close to the middle section. You have to decide on your own which strategy is best for the design. Another parameter, backlash, can be very helpful in the cases of overlaps, but remember that it makes the teeth weaker and all set louder. Plugin creates only a raw version of worm and gear, which need further processing according to the design requirements. Now I'll show a few sample changes. In the first example, we we'll add a key shaft to the worm and steel core to the gear.
Example 4. Custom Finishing 2. In this example, we'll design a set for some, let's say, 3D printer servo motor.
I hope that the plugin presented informations will be helpful. If you like this, please thumbs up. If you have questions, please leave a comment or mail me. The address is on my publisher's site or at the products contact section. Thank you for watching this, wish you a great designs and see you in my next video. Bye.